if, if somebody's gonna try to blackmail me with advertising, blackmail me with money, go f yourself. Go f yourself. <laughs> is that clear? I, I hope it is. Hey, Bob, if you're in the audience. Elon Musk is never afraid to say his thoughts and opinions about woke culture. This tech billionaire has had enough of woke culture, and he has vowed to destroy it. Elon isn't scared of being canceled and hated on, and that makes him a dangerous enemy to woke culture. On the surface, woke culture looks to be inclusive and solution-based to the world's problems, but it only makes things worse and more people get harmed with woke ideologies. Listen to Elon Musk explaining why wokeism does more harm than good. At, at its heart, w wokeness is divisive, um, exclusionary, um, and hateful. It's, it's, it basically gives mean people a reason, a, 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 it gives them a shield to be, to be mean and cruel, mm. armored in false virtue. And he is right, you see, while there are many social injustices that need attention from the public, woke culture presents itself as the voice of the victims of social injustices. Meanwhile, the movement is only interested in controlling and forcing everyone to bow to their beliefs. Woke people have become authoritarian, and they do not care how many people get hurt while forcing their agenda. What hurts Elon Musk the most is the death of his son. Elon Musk had a son called Xavier who changed his gender. Elon says he was told that Xavier would commit suicide, and he got deceived to sign documents allowing his son to be sterilized. And now that his son is dead, Elon cannot forgive woke culture. So I was tricked into doing this, um, and uh, you know, it wasn't explained to me that puberty blockers are actually just sterilization drugs. Um, I lost my son, essentially. Uh, so, you know, they, uh, they call it dead naming for a reason. Yeah, I, All right, I'm, so they, the reason it's called dead naming is because uh, your son is dead. So my son Xavier is dead. According to Elon Musk, whatever gender identity problems that his son had, sterilizing him was not the solution. Woke ideologies, which Elon Musk calls the woke mind virus, only cause harm, and he believes that humanity has no need for woke culture. You see, woke ideologies don't stop at gender. There is also environmental wokeism, which Elon believes is very dangerous for society. These are woke ideas that humans destroy the environment in pursuit of enjoying life, therefore the earth would be better without people. It's essentially the uh, extinctionists. Like, it's in the limit, it is that they're propagating uh, the extinction of humanity and civilization. Imagine that. They want the extinction of humanity. In the pretense of caring for the environment and the world, the woke mind virus's real agenda is to destroy humanity. One method that Elon believes is used to stop population growth is gender-affirming care. When Elon was a Democrat, he allowed his son Xavier to get hormonal treatment, believing that his son was getting help. But it was not so. His son is now called Vivian, and many more people who have taken hormonal treatment and got sterilized will never have their own children. This woke mindset is what Elon Musk believes is being propagated by the extinctionists. Um, and, and there's some people who are, are like most, most of the time, it, it's, it's implicit. They don't, expl it's, but sometimes it's explicit. Like there was a guy on the front page of the New York Times uh, who it literally has the thing called the extinctionist movement. Um, and he was quoted on the front page of the New York Times as saying, uh, there are 8 billion people on the world, but it would be better if there were none. Ooh. And I'm like, well, buddy, you can start with yourself. Elon Musk discourages woke environmentalism that promote harm to humanity. Musk has also linked his concerns about the woke mind virus to technology development, especially artificial intelligence. He warns that if AI systems are programmed with these ideologies, they could potentially adopt harmful views about humanity itself. He fears that AI could be influenced by extinctionist philosophies, those advocating for reducing human population or even eliminating humanity, which could lead to catastrophic outcomes. Musk views the woke mind virus as a threat to modern civilization itself. He has stated that if these ideologies continue to spread unchecked, they could hinder the progress of humanity. Uh, what is essentially a mind virus to the rest of Earth. Um, and the outcome of that mind virus is very clear if you walk around the streets of downtown San Francisco. It is the end of civilization. Well, in order for the virus to propagate, it must suppress opposing both viewpoints. That's right. If there is one thing that wokeism is intolerant of, it's different ideas. Musk argues that this culture discourages open dialogue and questions, labeling different opinions as unacceptable. He warns that this suppression of free speech can lead to a society where people are afraid to express their thoughts or ideas.
To Elon Musk, the woke mind virus is just communism hidden in plain sight. To him, this mindset amplifies various forms of discrimination, such as racism and sexism, while ironically claiming to combat them. Musk believes that the woke mind virus encourages people to hate each other and themselves. He argues that it fosters an environment where individuals are pitted against one another. Um, I'm generally against things that are anti-meritocratic uh, or where there's an attempt to suppress discussion, um, where e even discussing a topic is, uh, you know, not allowed. Um, the woke mind virus is communism rebranded. That's right. If there is one thing that wokeism is intolerant of, it's different ideas. Musk is particularly concerned about the suppression of free speech that he associates with the woke mind virus. He argues that questioning woke narratives or expressing different opinions often leads to someone being canceled. Woke culture stifles open dialogue and critical thinking, which Musk believes are crucial for progress in any society. He emphasizes the need for caution against anything that overlooks proven facts for feelings, warning that such ideologies can prevent meaningful progress. For Elon, the ability to speak one's mind, even, and especially, when it's controversial or offensive, is fundamental to a functioning democracy. In his eyes, woke culture, with its emphasis on policing language and punishing those who disagree with them, is a direct threat to that principle, especially when it comes to comedy. The woke mind virus is offended by every societal joke, and Dave Chappelle has been a victim of cancel culture for telling his jokes. We should, like, like, wokeness basically wants to make comedy illegal, <laughs> which is not cool. We've experienced a bit of that. <laughs> I mean, Ch Chappelle, like, what? Try to shut down Chappelle? Come on, man. That's crazy. Comedy has always been one of the most powerful tools for pushing boundaries and laughing about societal norms. But in the age of woke culture, comedy is increasingly under fire. Free speech is one of the reasons why Elon Musk bought Twitter. Social media platforms had become tools for censorship, and Elon Musk wasn't having it. A, a desire to actually censor. That, that seems crazy. I mean, I, I think we should be extremely concerned about anything that uh, undermines the First Amendment. There's a reason for the First Amendment. Um, the First Amendment is because people came from countries where they could not speak freely and, and, where, and where saying certain things would get you thrown into prison. Elon Musk's war on the woke mind virus is already on. By allowing free speech on his social media platform, he has already given an audience for ideas and provided a platform for conversation. The challenge he now sees is the spread of the woke mind virus in schools. The, the amount of indoctrination that, that's happening in schools and, and universities is, I think, far beyond what parents realize. Um, and I, I only I sort of came to realize this some, some, somewhat late. Um, the, the, the experience that we had uh, in, in high school and college is not the experience that, that kids today are having. Um, and, and hasn't been for, I don't know, 10 years, maybe 20 years.